A hot one night stand turns into an awkward morning after. Been made into a movie starring Madeline Zima. Where is she? Get her in here. Madeline? I know that uh, she uh, had some stuff to do. Did you get struck in traffic this is. morning? Hello. Wait, wait, hang on. This is what I'm thinking because her movie. This is all a ploy. Yeah, she's like. I was She's stuck in traffic this stuck morning. Stuck in traffic, you see. Well, yeah. That's what it's all about. Have a seat. Put on your headphones. That's feel cool. all radio-like. I know. This is so exciting. <laughs> yeah? I listened to you guys on the way over. Oh. Some and you guys, still decided you to, to come in. Oh, no. Now Some you're stuck. Have, with, uh, <laughs> <laughs> now you're stuck with us. You guys are great. Have you had a one-night stand in real life? Um, does does somebody you know actually count, or some is it? I've I've had this debate yeah. a few times. If it's like somebody you actually pick up at a bar that night and have no idea what their name is, right? Or if it's a friend that you kind of have a accident with, <laughs> an yeah, accident yeah, 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 was yeah. drinking probably involved in both cases. Mm. Uh, was there more than one? <laughs> well, I mean, in the one where you meet a guy at a bar and you go home with him, probably uh, yeah, bad I judgment. Think, I think the drinking is always always yeah. involved yeah. when you're. Lowering your standards. So, oh, so you lowered your standards for this guy that you put in the friend zone, no. and then you finally no. hit, and you no, broke his no. heart. No, 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 it's just you know you want to be in love. Uh, you know, yeah. ideally you want to be really like into lowering the person. your standards. Is yes, I was out at a. I mean, it's different for. I don't think guys understand. It's but, losing inhibitions because we all want the Frank, same thing. I met you an hour ago at a bar. I've had a couple Chardonnays, and all of a sudden I'm like, I don't know. I'm sorry. And what's we, your name again? Was, exactly. That's lowering your standards. Yeah. That I, now that's I actually hot. I went back home with you. And quite frankly, sober, are you going to go to a strange man's apartment? I don't know who you are. Are you going to keep me in your basement? I don't know. You have to ruin every one night stand, don't you? Well, it's scarier for women. I I, I read this this factoid that um, for online dating, men are afraid of of meeting a girl that's fat, and women are afraid of meeting serial killers. (laughs) (laughs) So we just have different (laughs) context, you know? Yeah, this uh, this movie that premieres in theaters a Friday called Stuck. This Friday, yay! Yay! I know, huh? Thank you. A hot one night stand turns into an awkward morning after when the guy... uh, played by Joel David Moore from mm-hmm. Avatar and Dodgeball. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, Holly, played by you, Madeline. Yes. And uh, you guys get stuck in traffic. <laughs> Him, he's taking you back home to your house. Being a gentleman. He's taking me back to my car, which I, oh, I forgot yeah. at the bar mm. that, that night. And uh, yeah, we get stuck in traffic and we're forced to get to know each other and we're not at all happy about that hungover and... Uh, not necessarily super keen on the person in the driver's seat. So when you woke up in the morning and you realized you had a one night stand and he's taking you home, did you remember the evening or you guys had to go back over the evening too when you get to know each other? I think I think that the that's part of the the narrative is oh. like flashbacks to the night before and how they at first seem to be very unhappy with each other and then flashing back to the moments of chemistry and passion and and fun. And so by the end of the movie, you guys are actually doing it in traffic in the car, <laughs> Frank, right? don't ruin it for people. We're going to go to the theaters saying, this Friday. I'm just saying. You know? That would just be happy ending, I guess. <laughs> it's actually, kind of, happy ending. It's kind of like a when Harry met Sally in reverse in a car. <laughs> okay. So, But you do have, because we were talking about this earlier, are there flash forwards, flashback? Because if you're getting to know each other, you're telling him stories about you. Is it flashback to you in those situations or is it no, just storytelling no no it's just storytelling it's car. just getting to know each other in in a tight space so yeah and making out i mean so like how long did you know him before you had to like roll around with him <laughs> with camera crews watching <laughs> it's, it's always so awkward i know it's, it's, always so like it's hot but it's not right it's, no i mean it's like it's like do you remember when you had to do like uh, spin the bottle in front of oh. your friends and you're just like so nervous yeah. Dude, and you're go, like go, go. your lips you're trying to like look cool and you just can't and yeah it's not it's never and actually that, sexy in that moment do you <clears throat> have crew going uh, Madeline tur- go ahead put your head to the right a little yeah. bit just turn your head to the right a little bit as we yeah. get to, and you're like I don't kiss leaning the, uh, then you're all uh, self-conscious totally. that you right. don't even know how to do it you, like, it's like, wait a second, this I, is how I would naturally do it. I'm yeah. missing, I must be kissing but wrong. But it's not right for the camera. Like, yeah. even when you hug the wrong way, it feels awkward. So, yeah. Um. How many uh, takes? <coughs> did, I mean, did they try to do it as quickly as possible? Or it's like, it was like a three-day shoot. And then, you know, <laughs> I mean, as far as, like, the sex scene goes. We just luxuriated in it. <laughs> um, no, I, I think, you know, um, for this particular thing, you know, we only had 10 days to shoot everything. So we were 
rolling through everything pretty quickly and uh sometimes it takes a few takes just to get used to the other person's face in your face you're all sitting there like or chomping on altoids going <laughs> yeah mm, I'm sorry. sorry sorry i had <laughs> i had onions at lunch <laughs> right oh well, that's cruel we got kissing seeds. like you're not doing that like yeah. i forgot those onions look so good <laughs> a bunch of oreos left them all in your teeth hey kiss right. me <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, you said that maybe you had a one night stand with a friend that you knew. It was a mistake because you were like, vaguely oh, remember. Vaguely, right. vaguely remember that. I will not admit to anything on, on would, the air. <laughs> would you ever go to a bar alone? Um, I think I have, but only under the the scenario of it being like an event, like some kind of a you know work premiere thing. or work thing or schmoozing thing which even then people are like you're here alone that's so brave because like <laughs> yeah, really? i'm really brave well yeah. <laughs> yeah but like also hollywood things are super awkward and like everyone's pretending to have a good time and everyone's really like not having a good time so right. just going there and just you know because I, I got a, a facebook message from one of our uh, our fans asking that question her name is uh, kelly she's 27 and she says is it weird for a woman to go to a bar alone she goes after i get done working i like to go to a bar for a nice happy hour drink and i don't invite my girlfriends uh, to come with because i uh, like to be by myself no. i'm single and i've always found it a great way of meeting men that way and when I don't have friends, guys seem to talk to me more. Of course, yeah. More men, men are afraid of the, the wall groups. of women, you know. Because we all have that friend who's like, "You need to go, okay? We're yeah. um, we're Plus, the girls' night. We're, we're, yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's always the one friend. It's like <laughs> it's time to leave, right, ladies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these guys are wanting to take you home. You guys, we have to get up early. We um, should go. No, I think it's uh, guys also see a woman sitting at the bar by herself, order order to drink. As super confident. Yeah. The fact that she can go and just do that. It's like, I need to get to know her. Yeah. I think there's way too much like uh, uh, fear around women going out by themselves. You know what I mean? Like, what's going to happen? You have your cell phone. Is somebody going to really try to attack you? You can tweet about it and people be in, <laughs> in five <laughs> seconds. Twitter is so fast. You're never really alone. No, you're never really alone anymore. So you can. That you know, is true, too, with the phone. Like, I feel like I could sit anywhere. You've yeah. got your phone and a glass of wine or whatever. You're just, you're, you're at the bar by yourself, but you're. You know, you're Do they have down. the I, the uh, cases yet that have like uh, mace attached? Ooh, that'd be because they don't. That's a great. That's idea. another great idea for oh, me. I've go. had a couple of good ideas today. You're yeah. on fire. But then you won't have any good ones for like the next six months, and then the next year. Yeah, I know. Yeah, write the really stuff down, people. They're feast billion of, dollar yeah, ideas. Feast or famine. My, with my you. sisters have this thing called Find a Friend, uh, this app where yeah. you can track the person, like all of all of your friends, their dot where their phone is. Yeah, it's GPS. It's for us. We're like super protective of each other, so it's like a safety issue like yeah. um but it I is a heard bit of, creepy it's i haven't heard of creepy. that one but i have uh, glimpse that oh, okay. does the same thing where you can like if i'm Wait, on what? it's this app called glimpse so if i'm like let's say i'm on my way to your house i send you a glimpse and then you pull it up and you can see where, where I see I, your car driving yeah, to my see, house, and you go, "Oh, um, it looks like she's going good speed." Okay, she'll be here in like fourteen minutes or so. You can see where I well, am. How weird am I that I'm like, "Oh my God, where is she? Is she almost here?" Well, oh my God, it's a safety thing. It's a safety thing. It, That's is what it, it is. Well, can yeah. I just go back to it and go? Is it logged? No, but if, if you're Heidi it, disappeared around Dead Man's Cast, we'll let's, see. Let's, see, let's see where she is. Oh my God, she's in the, in the ravine. But I like this find a friend thing. <laughs> yeah, because you can look at any time. You can see like one of our, our friends, April, was like, "Oh, I'm at home writing," and really she was in Vegas. <laughs> Why would she lie? Why? Because you know, she's sitting at the bar by herself, <laughs> exactly. waiting to meet some people. Are Playing we, some poker. Are we uh, disguising this glimpse and find a friend? Is pretty much. I want to spy on whoever I'm with to make sure they're not cheating on me. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I that's think it. That's probably what, it what turn it off. If but if I turn, no, you can definitely. So. I don't have it on right now for whatever reason. Are you kidding me? If just you, wait, no, if no, you she's were with here. somebody <laughs> and and you said, "Oh, you're," we're both on Find a Friend, so we can see where we are all the time, and they want to turn it off. What would that say? It just says they're not available. But but it's supposed to say to you in your mind that they turned off their dot. Right, mm. right, right. They don't want you to know where they are. What could they possibly be doing? Sneaky. <laughs> being sneaky <laughs> and being no good. So yeah. sneaky. Keep it on. Yeah. Uh, are you uh, engaged, married, boyfriend? What you got going? I have a boyfriend. Yay. Boyfriend? Yeah. 
Mm. Is it getting close to like the engagement times? <laughs> we went to a wedding together, but um, we've oh only just started seeing each other, okay. so it's it's very new stuff. Were you when they were like to throw the bouquet, and you're like, "Oh, I'm gonna go out," and he's like, "No, no, no, you don't need to go out there. You don't need to. That's a bad sign. What's, uh, what are you gonna go catch something? He's, like, thing he's for? like, "Hey, you go get us a couple drinks." <laughs> right? Or when they throw the garter, and then you're like, "Go, go, no, I'm not into that kind of thing." So, Babe, you don't want to hurt hand. yourself. <laughs> right? Sitting on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> it lands on top of his head. He's like, no, no. Well, one day when uh, a man gets down on one knee and asks you to marry him, uh, do you uh, have expectations of what the ring should look like? Should it be oh my really, really nice and large, or should no. would it be just if it was just a little band? Would that be fine? No, I think when when I was younger, I thought it was going to be a nun. So the idea of getting married or like even being in a relationship is a total surprise to me. Cause really, I'm, I've always been the girl who is never in a relationship. Like both my sisters always have boyfriends and I'm always single Sally so single, single Sally. Sally yeah I know the way that it sounded it sounded a little sad no, but, but it's not <laughs> you went to Catholic school it's really not you went to Catholic school no no I just oh I you think, just thought you were going to be a nun I think it, it skipped a generation my mom was raised Catholic so it just like uh, yeah, DNA yeah. it's in right. the DNA so then your kids will be Catholic I don't <laughs> yeah. know how it works no matter how I raise oh, them right. raise them Buddhist and exactly. they're just like go to get their their uh, knuckles cracked so this is ruler. your first like serious boyfriend um, no, I've had a couple serious, but they would be on and off or, or, uh, or I would choose very poorly. <laughs> well, and too, with being an actress and you're probably always gone, always doing something, it's hard yeah. to nest, right? Oh, for sure. And it's, it's hard to meet nice guys in, in LA and, and it's hard to just, you know. Hey, don't it I just know. randomly happens, huh? Yeah. <laughs> just walk into a room, there's a guy in headphones with a beard. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Funny. Oh, nice. Oh, no, please. Look, you there. I have to, you realize you're going to leave, and I'm stuck with this for the rest of the af- afternoon. <laughs> you guys are great. I'm actually a huge fan. So oh, I'm thank you. Really? Thank, thank you, thank you thank so you. much. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to see your movie, Stuck. It opens up in theaters this Friday because it's uh, about being stuck in traffic, and the whole movie takes place stuck in traffic. Um, I guess it's only appropriate to have you actually read the traffic report. The actual traffic is happening right now in Los Angeles. So okay, do you I'm going to do, do it. All I'm right. going to do it. It's a little scary. Although, by the way, it seems like this is the traffic how it is every single day in Los Angeles, right? <laughs> that okay. is true. I, wait, I, got, I had to give you some traffic music. Oh, we got to make right. it official. Let's okay, make cool. it official here. <laughs> so do, do I do it over this the yeah. whole time? Oh, my God. Okay, so there's a kidnapping sis, uh, suspect situation off uh, at the Super 8 office of Pulvida, so they shut down the Sepulveda Boulevard, both east and west, are bound in between Crenshaw and Arlington. The 105 vet west is very slow due to some earlier problems. West 105 towards Lamont, they wrapped up earlier accident, but it's still backed up. The 91 eastbound is always half heavy towards <laughs> Bellflower Boulevard for some reason. <laughs> and um, the two-town westbound is never fully recovered from a big accident in Rancho Cucamonga, so the 210 west Westbound is heavier than normal off the 115. You're oh, a natural. The hell a sky yay. lord. It's going to be Madeline Zima with the traffic every yeah, single day here on the Heidi and Frank show. She's yeah, too she's big way for too us. big she's for us. Hollywood actress. Thank you, sweetheart, for coming in. Thank you can come you in so anytime much. you have anything to promote. You come Thank in, okay? You. It was really fun. And you come guys. back and sing and play guitar and stuff next time. So Ooh, I know you do that, right? I do. I do. But yeah. that would be super fun. But next, I'd have to practice. Next time. Next time you come in. We'll be right back. We're Heidi and Frank. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. Now, to get the show in its entirety, on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day, all you have to do is go to HeidiandFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.